What's up guys, so it's gonna be a jam-packed day today and you're never gonna believe what I just picked up. All right guys, so I've been waiting quite a while to do this, but I finally picked up a set of wheels on eBay, 500 bucks for all four shipped from New York, I believe it was. New York or New Jersey, one of those, I'll have to check. But I mean, I love them, they're awesome. I already got them, they're in the back right here, and probably can't see them. But we're on our way to Les Schwab tires right now to have them mounted, aligned, and then I'll reveal. We're here in front of Le Schwab Tire now, guys. I'm gonna go inside and see if they'll let me videotape the entire process. That would be cool if they do, but if not, then we'll just have to get back to it afterwards. So, they said no. <laughs> they don't allow any uh, filming inside of the shop or really even inside the building. So I'm not gonna be able to film the process of them mounting the tires and then switching out the wheels. But that's okay. We all know how that looks, so no biggie. But. This is the last time you're gonna see the Austins on the GTI, at least for a very long time. So the one thing I've been debating for a little bit is whether I should get a big brake kit or if I should just invest some money in some tires. Um, the tires I was looking at was actually the Toyo Proxxas R888s, but I've heard a lot of different things about those, especially that they're not great for daily use and that the, uh, the tread wear only lasts about 10,000 miles or so. Had some suggestions uh, for the Pilot Super Sports. Those are apparently very popular in the Mark 7 and Volkswagen community, um, even for other vehicles, of course. But I've just heard so many Mark 7 guys say, hey, get the Pilot Super Sports. Those are like the best tires all around for grip, comfort, noise, etc. So we'll see what happens. I may or may not get the big brake kit or the tires, or actually I may even get some exterior mods. Um, so trying to work with something right now with Paul. So if that goes through, then I'm not gonna get the tires. I'm gonna get the exterior mod because the car is a little boring at the moment, but if I can get that, it'll be pretty awesome. I'll let you guys know. What's up, man? How you doing? Pretty good about yourself. Good, good. Right. Take it in. All the wheels and stuff are in the back in there. Um, I'm just gonna have those tires mounted on there. Okay, cool. Cool. Right. Oh, by the way, a reverse is gonna be down and in the first. You push it down? Push it down yeah, and yeah, in the yeah, first. Yeah. yeah, I know all the cars are different, so. Yeah. I can't remember the last time I drove a stick. <laughs> oh shit, man. In that moment, I had realized I'd made a grave mistake. <laughs> Don't burn out the clutch. <laughs> yeah, no. okay. So it's kind of like, I mean, if you want, I can just back it over there for you, man. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. All right, cool, so luckily, um, he just had me drive the car. He's a big dude, so he couldn't fit in my seat. I didn't want him adjusting it, so, because it's, it's a pain in the ass. The sliders don't really work that well. So you can probably see the car whoop, right there about to go in. Um, I can't really film inside, and I don't know if they're gonna get mad for me doing this, but I'm gonna do it anyways. But pretty much, they're gonna mount the wheels and tires on there, and then when it's done, I'm gonna wash it and then reveal it, because the car is super dirty right now. So, we'll get back to it. Hella cool. This guy's actually letting me get in there, film some stuff. He showed me how the wheels looked. He asked me if I wanted to keep the caps on there. This guy knows how to do his job. He's doing a good job. Even though management said that I'm not allowed to film in there, he just kind of let me in there real quick. I'm not gonna you know, say his name because I don't want to get him in trouble or nothing, but 
Good job, dude. Hooking a homie up. It's pretty loud out here. They're using a pressure washer, but they just finished mounting the wheels and tires. And man, it looks gorgeous. I am so excited to show you guys. It looks absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, I'm waiting for the uh, car to be uh, finished getting an alignment right now. Make sure it doesn't eat up the tires, you know. But um, after the alignment, take it over the wash and then we'll get it going. But my God, I can't, I just really can't tell you how awesome it looks. I am so stoked for this. I've been waiting, whew, I think what, six, seven, eight, months, almost a year, I guess. We'll just call it almost a year to get wheels and it's finally happening, so. So apparently the GTI had like some negative camber on it on the back, there was like a negative two. For some reason, I have lowering springs, so I don't know why it's uh, even cambered. I didn't even know you could do that. So apparently you can have camber without coilovers. That's new to me. Um, so he took it and straightened it out so it's more performance oriented. Camber is cool, just not my thing, at least not with this setup and this car. Um, I like more performance kind of things, so I had him just even it out. And then uh, he just finished up right now, he pulled out, and we got that cool little shot of him rolling out. And he's like, hey man, do you mind if I uh, just drive it around the block real quick? So <laughs> he just wanted to test drive it and see how the GTI was, and he liked the blow off valve, so it's pretty cool. I mean, I, that blow off valve adds awesome turbo sounds so it's pretty interesting but as soon as he comes back if he comes back I hope he does <laughs> when he comes back then we can take it for a wash all right guys so we got done we were gonna wash the cars but we ended up not doing it because we didn't have the stuff didn't have a towel but uh, my friend actually Patrick ended up showing up out of nowhere with his RS right there so we uh, decided to actually check out this tuner here in town that he's recommending they're called ASP performance or ASP tuning I had to check it out real quick so um, we're gonna see if they can um, help hook it up try and find a place for me to do pretty much German engineered uh, tuning I really want to work on maybe getting a custom tune or trying to do some kind of flex fuel E85 thing. I don't know if it's possible. I've heard many things, mostly that it's really not uh, have been done right now. I think there's one or two guys on the Mark 7 page who has done it. But uh, if I can find a tuner to start working with me and help helping me to kind of bring up the performance in this car, that'd be great. Because now that the, the looks are looking a little bit better, that's awesome. But I really want to push a lot more horsepower in this thing. If I can get to 350, I'll be happy. That's perfect. I don't need more than that. Gonna, I'm gonna let you know later on. Alright, so sounds good. Reply, I'll give you a reply. Are right, you gonna go home right now? Yeah, I have to go to work. Oh, you gotta go to work right now? No, uh, at 7. At 7? Yeah, All right, I'm man. gonna take a little nap. Alright, bro. I'll All check right, you I'll later, man. You later.